Okay, y'all, so this video is gonna be a little weird, but I was playing some chess this morning, and I clicked on some rapid tournaments, right? I found this guy, Dill with a Pickle. Well, that sounds an awful lot like my name, Pickle Dill. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send him a challenge once this game is over, and we'll find out who the better pickle is. I have no clue who this person is, they just have the same name as me, so I'm gonna try to challenge them. Uh, this pickle is 1114. While I was on my break, I got to 1200, so yeah, we're just gonna see if this guy's any good or not. I also just noticed, uh, pickle with the dill, or sorry, dill with the pickle uses a lot of their time. If here, I think I would just drop back to here. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so this is an easy draw from here. All you gotta do is, um, maybe plant your rook here. There's no winning chances, so you can sacrifice the rook for the bishop or the pawn. Or preferably the pawn. Yeah, so you should just, yep, just take right there. What? Why? This is literally the most draw thing ever. Let's take this, and it's gonna go there. <laughs> I mean, you're gonna repeat moves, right? Is that just how it's gonna go? Okay, okay, now I gotta quickly challenge him. Let's see what he does. Come on. Let's go! I'm gonna say, let's see who the better dill pickle is okay this is gonna be a funny video uh i chose rated for some reason so if i lose this game i'm gonna lose 11 he said haha okay he does a queen's gambit this is gonna be some good content oh crap i forgot to switch scenes i'm sorry about that guys okay there we go okay a4 i've never seen that your pieces aren't developed at all why don't we check and maybe develop our knight? Develop our knight? Alright, I asked if he minds if I make a YouTube video on this game or not. So we'll see what he says. He said, go ahead. Okay, knight of three just developing their knight. Um, I might move my rook to the center. What about this? Alright, he asks what my channel is. Okay, so he castles here. Um... I think I'm gonna move my rook to the center. I think I might take, uh, this bishop here. I am kind of scared of him at some point, playing b4, I don't know. Okay, queen b3. Um, double attacking this, potentially hitting this in the future. I will take, and then play b6. Not the most pretty thing ever, but, um, I think it'll work. Okay, queen c2. Um, he's hitting this, but it's protected, so I think... I'm going to push right here. That's what I'm going to do. Going here does threaten a fork if they do not take. So I think they're going to have to take. Okay, bishop f5. Definitely, um, in my eyes, an oddball move. I think I want him to take me. So what if I take here? I like that. I'll take here. He's going to take back. Let's see. What are my options? I could take here and... I don't know about that. Why don't we play this? No, nah, that doesn't really do anything. I'll just take, I guess. You know. Oh, I see a combo. I can go takes, 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 and the queen protects it. Alright, so that um should win a pawn here. Awesome, awesome. You have to take with the queen, buddy. Yes, yes, yes. And yeah, now we're just up a clean pawn. I'll play this so we don't get um, some potential back rank mate. Alright, I want to get this rook into the game. Um, I also got to watch out for this diagonal just in case. I think I'll go here and trade uh, queens. Let's see what he does. I'm doing alright on time. So is he. Doesn't accept the queen trade. Probably the right thing to do. Rook b1. Rook b1. Rook b1. Rook b1. Only the real ones will understand. Alright, I'm gonna play this. If they push, I take, obviously. Okay, so they are, um, they're hitting my queen here. Let's go here and trade. Opponent doesn't take. They play, uh, queen b4. I like this. Hitting the queen and also hitting the knight here. Not doing terrible on time, but, um, I could be doing better. Rook d4. Okay. Uh, what does that do? That just hits my queen. Mmm, I don't know. I like this. Going danger levels. I feel like I just blundered something, but I don't think I did. I think this is safe. Takes? Okay. Right, now I'm gonna take here. And I'm gonna take here. And I'm gonna push. Well, that's as far as I calculated. Push here. We're gonna bring the king into the game. 
I didn't realize I was up so many pawns. Right, right, now we bring the king into the game. Hmm. I don't know about this. For me, by the way. Uh, this? I don't know. It's. I'm not sure. These squares are blocked off um, from the king. They're pushing over here. That's a bad move. Or is it? Yeah, it is. Wait, yeah. Okay, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna fight for over here instead. Check. Okay. Here. Now, if you keep checking me... Okay, never mind. Well, let's push. Right. Let's push. Now, this should be winning for me. We're gonna go here, but I'm already over here. So this is winning. Okay. So, uh, they might take here. Actually, if they don't take and if they move, we just promote and we're winning. Alright, they take and yeah, this is winning. Awesome. But wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did I blunder this? Wait, no, 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 we get the red carpet. Okay, we're good. Okay, here's how you win this, um, for all you beginners. So what you do is, uh, when the king moves, you just move the queen so that it's a knight away, okay? Wherever they move, you just copy them. They go one this way, you go one this way. As simple as that. They go one up and, uh, right, you go one up and right. And you just copy them like this until, um, they are at the back rank, alright? And what you do from here, they can only go back and forth, so you're gonna bring your king all the way over here. Just like that, that is checkmate, and we win. Alright y'all, we have found who the better pickle is. That was actually really tough in the end game. Um, I feel like that could have been a draw or should have been a draw. Oh no, the engine says I'm just winning. Probably because of my pawn advantage. Oh, so here, they probably wanted me to play this, right? Yeah, the engine loves this move. You guys can't see the engine. But the engine says minus seven for me. Well, just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have found who the better pickle deal is. This was a really fun video for me to record, so if you guys uh, want to see another video like this, where um, I challenge random people with the name Pickle and Dill in their names, uh, be sure to leave a like uh, and leave a comment, because um, I would really love to do one of these again. Maybe sometime I could have like a championship where it's just people with Pickle in their name. Now that would be really funny, actually. But yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Anyways, that's it. Bye.